Ginger here. Today I am talking about our unit for the formation of the universe and the formation of the Earth and the Earth's solar system. So I'm so excited to bring all of this unit study that we have completed. This I completed for kindergarten. Um, <laughs> photo bomb! <laughs> This I completed for kindergarten, but really it is more for elementary age students because my kid is like Miss Patient, so she can do a lot of these things, but I understand a lot of kindergartners cannot. You'll see um, all of her work that she completed and some samples of the work that I did along with her. I also have a reading list. We did a Big Bang Galaxy watercolor. These are all of hers. So we did more than one. And mine are inside the house, so I'm just gonna show you the ones that she did. Star poke. This is just a black sheet of paper, and we took a pen and we poked, 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 poked. Actually, she did all the poking on top of a nice soft pillow. I did anchor it at the corners with some pins to try to keep it from wiggling around too much as she was poking with her pin. And it just looks so stunning. Beautiful. You could even do this with constellations for when you're studying constellations. So we did galaxy paintings using um, cotton balls and a toothbrush. This is just regular black cardstock. Here's her other one. Those are Alexis artwork. She is five years old. We did a galaxy pastel drawing on black paper. She wanted to do a black hole because we were watching a lot of black hole videos at that time when we finally got to see that first photo of a real black hole. Oh, you know what we did? She, we didn't do the galaxy um, chalk drawings. We actually did the black hole. She did a black hole because that's what she wanted to do. And then she did nebulas. So this is the, I believe this is the butterfly nebula that we copied. And then the cat's eye nebula. So we were learning about supernovas and how how an exploding star is a supernova and then it leaves the remaining nebula so all those leftover dust particles make pretty beautiful colors in the night sky. And then so we went on from the formation of the universe. The Big Bang is what we covered. I know that there's the new string theory out there but I don't know enough about that and she's only five. So I'm gonna start with the Big Bang and then once we get into maybe junior high or middle school, we'll start studying some string theory. For an example of the Big Bang, we filled, actually I didn't do this at all, this was all her. She's been playing with balloons a lot lately. So she filled a balloon with some beads and then it popped and the beads went everywhere. And so we were like, Perfect, that's exactly like the Big Bang. So it started off as something small, and then it started expanding, and then it went out everywhere. So that was super exciting to see that physical thrust of the beads flying across the room. I don't really recommend that necessarily, unless you have a really good vacuum or... <laughs> <laughs> something that's gonna find the beads because I'm sure I have beads lost in my house now. <laughs> we also did galaxy in a jar. So this is our jar here. We used food coloring to make it blue. And if you kind of look at it, you can kind of say, hey look, this is before the universe was started. It was empty, it was void, and then there was a catalyst and it shook and now it's populated. I'll get some really better pictures of the, this. And we put varying sizes of sequins and different kinds of glitter. But galaxy in the jars are always fun to do. We also made cookies. 
Now, they tasted delicious, but they didn't look necessarily so much like galaxies. We did add some silver sprinkles on top to try to emulate stars, but that didn't really show too well. I will insert some pictures of how they turned out. There are definitely great tutorials all over YouTube to show you how to make those as well. We did do a galaxy slime. I don't have a picture of it. We did salt dough stars, and I'll insert some pictures on that as well. So we made the salt dough, and then we baked the stars. They poofed up way more than I anticipated. I thought they would be nice and flat, but I guess I cooked them too high, and they should have been on a lower temperature for like three hours instead of a higher temperature for a shorter amount of time. So they ended up poofy, and then we used Mod Podge to hold on the, the glitter. The problem with the glitter and the Mod Podge, well, the glitter wasn't the problem, the Mod Podge was a problem and it never dried, never dried. So that was really a disaster. I recommend using a watered down Elmer's glue instead. We did two different kinds of glitter universes. This one is the kind where you just glue down and then shake some on. And then we did the, I'm getting glitter everywhere. We did the spread the glue on with a paintbrush and then sprinkle on the glitter. And I think this one came out a lot better. So I would recommend doing it. I would recommend doing this version first. It just looks so pretty to me. She did both of those. Now we're going to move on to the formation of the Earth. This is the Hadean Eon. Hadean Eon. This is her version of what the Earth liked when it was starting to form. And then this is my version. I figured I would show you my version as well. So you can kind of see the difference side by side. And then we went into more of the formation of the earth, maybe with the land masses showing up and a lot of water. And this is hers. Now we did do the circles with a compass before we watercolored over and that was on both of those projects. Just to make it a little easier because just to give her a boundary. That way she doesn't have to try to form a circle on her own. She can just stay within the circle. Then we did the layers of the earth. And we have two projects for that one. This one here. And she did lay, oh, I think I have it upside down. We did the layers of the earth here. And I did have her label. It says inner core. And then I had her finish the rest of the labeling on the back. So outer, mantle, and then lava and crust. We also, oh, truck. <laughs> we also did needle felting of the Earth's core and the Earth's layers. This is her version. Again, this is sharp, sharp, sharp needle. She absolutely adored needle felting. Adored it, and I, I want to do more. We will be doing more throughout, I hope. So now that the earth is formed, what happens next? Well, life starts to grow. So, we've got to start looking at what we're doing for early life. Now, I had her do some coloring pages, and I think these are mine. Uh, okay, I'm just going to show you mine because I don't know where hers are. I think they're on the wall, actually. So, we did a trilobite, and this has all the information about the parts of the trilobite. And then we also have an undersea 
area of all the new kinds of life that are just starting to grow on Earth. We also watched a lot of videos on YouTube and I think just YouTube actually. And then we did a watercolor and this is of early of fossils, a fossil watercolor because I was so excited. My husband loves fossils so on one trip that he didn't get to go on I bought him a little packet of fossils. So we busted that out, we labeled out what were which and which were what, what were rich. <laughs> And we made these little things here. And this is, oh wow, this is Alexis's. It's wonderful. I'm so proud of her. And she labeled each one. She traced my letters. So we've got the ammonite. The Pelesipod, the Crinoid, the Brachiopod, and the Gastropod. That's hers, and I think it came out so wonderfully. What I did was I freehanded drawing these on watercolor paper, cut them out, and then we colored them with watercolors. And then over here, I used some Sharpie to put in the negative space. And then here's my version. And then the last part is the book list, all the books that we read. And we did read all of them cover to cover. So some of them, uh, four of them were library books and then I have two on hand that we did. So we did What's So Special About Earth. We did Little Kids, First Big Book of Space and that was by National Geographic Kids. We did The Solar System a Lift the Flat book. That one took us several days to get through because even though it was a Lift the Flat book, it was extremely dense with information and definitely information-wise geared towards uh, older children. Like, I don't know, upper elementary kids. So don't let that one fool you. <laughs> And then we also did The Magic School Bus, Inside Earth. And then these two here, There's No Place Like Space. And Born with a Bang, Book One, The Universe Tells Our Cosmic Story. so much for watching. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on and like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more.